We're at the Skipjack Open. It's time to get our coverage underway. I'm Luke Elvey. It's great to have your company, and I'm alongside Rich Beam in the booth. Rich, let's get stuck into it. What's this opening hole like? City views are abundant at this opening hole. Tarwa Golf Club, par four, 492 yards. A very strong opening hole. Fairway bunkers down the right-hand side should come into play for the long hitters. However, it's a long second shot, very demanding. Water to the right, as you can see, bunkers to the left, and anything long leaves a challenging third. All in all, one of the toughest opening holes these players will see. Well, it's all promising to be a good day. Can't wait to see what happens. Looks like this one's heading safely for the fairway. This one from about 160 yards out. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. Well, that's a lovely approach and sets up a birdie opportunity here at the first. Almost a gimme birdie there, Luke. Fantastic. That's pretty fancy. Nice start. Yeah, you gotta love seeing those go in early. Puts you in a good mood for the rest of the day. Currently one under for the round. Can't birdie them all unless you birdie the first, Luke. Good start. Time to tee off at the second. Going with the hybrid. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. Yeah, it took a bit too much club on that one. That's almost a gimme. Great chip. Judging it beautifully. That was pretty straightforward. Currently one under for the event. Let's see what happens here at the third hole. And after a par at the last, a chance to perhaps signal some intent. This looks to be heading for the cut stuff. Lining up from about 230 yards here.
you can hear the excitement in the air. It's starting to build. And let's take a look at this shot from a moment ago. Billy Horschel's playing some beautiful golf. Lining up for his second. That's it. Great shot. This putt right on 10 feet. A good one to make. Oh, just missed. Just three feet to the cup. It's got a chance. Well done. Take the birdie. And stepping up the standings after that effort. And after a birdie at the last... ...on the hole. Good looking shot this. Got all of that one. Using all the power to try and take it deep under par. Just a missile of a tee shot right onto the green. This one's tracking. He's made it for Eagle. And that puts him into the top five for the tournament. Currently at minus four overall. I'm pretty sure this player will be full of confidence now after that Eagle back at the last hole. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Oh my, right by the hole. Mm, that's right out of the copy books. Exquisite. He's already had a few birdies today. Another opportunity for another one. Let's take a look. Let's have a look at Matt Kuchar's shot. This would be a great up and down. Wow, that was handy holding out from there. And that'll be a big boost to his standings on the leaderboard. Good opportunity here to move into a tie for third. Get excited. This could go in. Wow. That's misjudged. Right on four feet. Should make this one. Oh, nice looking putt. And down she goes. He's currently tied for seventh. And moving down the leaderboard as well. Let's see what happens here on the sixth. This one looks to be heading for the sanctuary of the fairway.
Time to recap Billy Horschel's effort from just a short time ago. Second shot here. And it drops into the bucket. What a shot. Okay, let's get back to the action. Second shot here on the sixth. Going with a three wood here. That's some good golf right there. All right, John, how's this putt looking? Well, it looks like it's about 24 feet to the cup from here. That was a gallant attempt. And this putt to move into a tie for third place. And that will drop in for birdie. Well, that's a lovely way to make a move into the top five. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. at the par three here. I love these holes. Looks like they've got the five wood. Not a bad approach, that one. Not quite inside the booty range, but you never know. Hollow long one. Still counts. Outside chance here for the birdie. Looking really good. And down it goes. So that's back-to-back -back birdies. And that will move him to six under par. And it's worth taking another look at that one. John, what's going on out there? Hey guys, I'm over here on the ninth. This is Tony Finau's next shot. And here we are with the third shot. Oh, that one just missed the hole. Well, oh, that's wonderfully played out of the sand. Let's take a look at the leaderboard as it stands. Our lead couple of shots up at this stage.
Let's see what happens here at the eighth. That dog will hunt. Time for the second shot at the eighth. That should find the surface. Well, that's well played into birdie range here at the eighth. And this putt to move into a share of first. It's on a good line. Oh, so close. And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Trailing by a stroke after that hole. Here we find ourselves on the tee of a par four. that didn't you and they're playing from about 140 yards out only one shot off the pace Going with the eight iron here. Well, good looking shot here. That's headed towards the green. Well, well played. This part to get to seven under the card. Ouch, that hurts. Par putt coming up here. And that putt will drop. Well done. Time now to make the turn for home, Rich. And uh, this is an exciting part of the championship. What are your thoughts on this performance? One back, nine to go, Luke. This is getting interesting. That was absolutely murdered. From around 170 yards here, one stroke off the lead.
opting for the six iron. The excitement, it's starting, you can hear it. And now we go to the 11th, where this happened just a moment ago. And what about this from Billy Horschel, right out of the top drawer? This is how you do it, seven days a week. Pretty straightforward shot, about what you'd expect to see from this player. And back to the course with the live action. And this putt is to move into a share for the lead. And racking up their fifth booty of the day. And with that, he'll move to seven under. Incredible. He's currently tied for first. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. Ooh, I always love these holes. Here we have a par three. Oh, this one's right down the pipe. Luke, unfortunately, that got a horrible kick. Ended up in the rough. Great touch, really nicely played. Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. Well, that hole's behind us, more to play. Currently at seven under for the day. Time to make a move. The tee is yours here at the 12th hole. Lining up from around 160 yards. Just a stroke behind the leader. Going with the seven. Keep your fingers crossed for a bounce to the right. Well, that certainly makes putting a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that. Trying to get to eight under par with this putt. Good stuff today, especially the short game has been really sharp today. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. An opportunity to make their par. And down it goes. John, talk to us. What do you got for us? I am on the 13th hole. This is Billy Horschel's next shot. Time now for the fourth shot. 
That is absolutely brilliant. The rarest of shots. And that'll promote a good move up the standings. And with that hole behind us, let's have a look at the contenders and the pretenders. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Teeing off here on the 13th hole. Well, on the tee now, coming off a par. Chance to pipe one up the middle. That was wonderfully done. Uh, it's a brave one. Driver off the deck. Here's Matt Kuchar's shot. Playing their fifth shot. shot down the hill thank you gets it to go great shot sitting at minus seven currently tied for second bad this putt to move into a tie for first this one has eyes for the hole and that putt will give them birdie number six on the day and with that they'll move to eight under par awesome play He's currently in a share of top spot. Gotta like it, moving up the leaderboard, never a bad thing. From coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves, a chance to keep it rolling. Well, I like the look of the line here. They should find the fairway. Time for the second shot at the 14th. Going with the pitching wedge here. Nicely done. This one's for Birdie. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? 
And this putt coming up for his par. And the putt drops, and we're moving on. Sitting at minus eight for the day. The honour is yours. Time to hit a good one here at the 15th. to have chosen the 7-iron. <laughs> Terrific shot into the 15th and a chance for birdie. And this was from Billy Horschel from just a little while back. I got to say, his short game is one of the best in the game. Yes, it's in. Eight feet to the cup. Hey, that's a chance. A oh, well hold. Now an impressive nine under par with just a few holes remaining. And anything can happen down the stretch. Let's see what takes place. And there's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. Three holes remaining, Luke. This is getting awfully fun. Just a few holes to play. Let's see how you handle the 16th hole. Drive that one should find the fairway. Well, that's right out of the top drawer. A great shot from our leader. Whoo wee! They show movies on flights shorter than that. Interesting choice of the driver here. Well, that's showcasing their power there, Rich. Using all of his muscles to get that one home in two. Well, they've found the bunker, but a chance to maybe save from there. Yikes! And John, uh, how long's this putt? It seems to be a fair way. Oh, well, looks like around 31 feet to the cup. Oh, what a great stroke. Okay, steady now. This putt coming up is for birdie. Oh, what a performance. Eight birdies on the card. Back-to-back -back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. 
managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard after that effort. Here we are in front of a par three. Going with the five wood. Oh, what a shot by our leader. The iron play today has been absolutely stellar. Luke, the greens and regulation, just a fantastic accomplishment. Great to watch. This is a good chance. Always nice to hold those for a birdie. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. Oh, and they increase their lead. This is impressive, Luke, but can they hold up this play? Well, this is when the adrenaline really starts to kick in. Leading the tournament with the final hole to play. Good luck. This one looks to be heading down the runway. Oh, that's outstanding. Another great shot by our leader. That drive was simply astonishing. Opting for the five wood. Oh, he's been putting on a clinic all day. Another beauty by our leader. Always like the aggressive play, going for it in two and get rewarded for it. And this putt for the tournament. performance this has been hold this putt and he'll notch a 59 you know what rich as that putt goes down i think don't give them praise just look with admiration tell you what this could be life changing i gotta say this is an impressive win all around this player has some serious game i cannot wait to see what's next Alongside Rich Beam, and on behalf of all the hard-working folks at HB Studios, it's goodbye for now.
Welcome to our PGA Tour coverage here on 2K Sports. Today's coverage of the WGC FedEx St. Jude Invitational is about to begin. Hi, I'm Luke Olby alongside Rich Beam and we're in the hometown of Elvis. It's where the King resided, Memphis, Tennessee. And we're at TPC Southwind. Now, this is one of the most underrated courses on tour, Rich, but they're now playing for a WGC title. Well, the name says it all, Southwind. The wind blows out of the south here every single day. And it doesn't come in gently or mildly. It comes in fiercely. And when this wind really kicks up, especially in the hot conditions of summertime, this makes for a very long and challenging day. The greens are small. They can get firm. They can get fast. So finding more than 14 greens a day out here is excellent golfing. All in all, this is one of the more challenging golf courses, more underrated golf courses these players play all year long in the PGA Tour. And just like the legendary Elvis, you've got to be ready to rock and roll. Thank you. Thank you very much. Can't wait to find out what happens here. That's heading for the fairway. The approach into the first at TPC Southwind Rich played uphill to a challenging green back up the hill ever so slightly when the pin is on the back portion of the green it's hard to get it close but anywhere on the front part of the green you can get it close and make birdie great looking shot this a wonderful shot and a chance for birdie here on the first Five feet coming up to the cup. Yeah, nice mid-range birdie putt, that one. Oh, thank you very much. I'll have another. Currently one under for the tournament. Making birdie in the first always puts you in a good frame of mood. It'll be fun to watch the round progress. The second at TPC Southwind presents the first real birdie chance. Just a short par four playing 401 yards. Wonderfully played. I tell you what, there's been some great golf being played all over the course. Let's have a look at this. One of the best iron players in the game, Jim Furyk. And take a look at his fourth now. Wonderful effort. Let's get back to it, shall we? They say longevity is the greatest judge of any career, Rich, and this man's had one of the longest on tour, Jim Furyk. He seems to be one of those fine motor vehicles that just keeps on keeping on. I'm in awe of players of Jim Furyk's standard where the game, distance-wise, has passed him by, yet he's still able to compete in the biggest tournaments that carry the most importance, the majors, the players' championship, the WGCs. He's absolutely in the mix and a danger to win any event that he tees it up in. I don't know how 
he is motivated after being out there for so long, but I applaud it. Some momentum being built now. That's back-to-back -back birdies. And I like it. Two in a row. And after that hole, he's now alone at the top of the leaderboard. The play so far has been stellar, increasing the lead, Luke. But can they maintain it? Let's find out. The third hole at TPC South wins a strong par five, measuring over 550 yards from the back tees. A bit of water comes into play here on the second shot, so be mindful of where you leave your approach. Oh, that was pummeled into submission. The third hole at TPC Southwind, Rich, the first of the par fives on the golf course. A lot of water in play. You need to be brave if you're going for this in two. More golf balls hit into the water at TPC Southwind than any other golf course on tour. An excellent reason why you get a little careless. That water on the right-hand side is going to gobble up that second shot. Opting for the three wood. Oh, what a shot. You'll take that. Yep, give yourself a pat on the back. And this punt is about 17 feet long. This will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. Okay, let's head to the next. Currently at minus three for the round. The fourth hole here at TPC Southwind is the first par three on the course, and it measures just under 200 yards. Just avoid the penalty area to the left. This tournament's coming alive. I wonder what just went down. Wow, what a shot. Yep, that one's on the dance floor. You can two-putt that for sure. And now we go back to the fifth hole where this happened just a moment ago. Matt Kuchar with a fantastic shot. Lining up for his third now. Well, that was an absolute beauty, Rich. Let's return to live play now. Good chance to take it even deeper here. This putt's for four under.
Go on, get in the hole. And with that, that's their fourth birdie. And with that, he'll move to four under par. And just keeping it in neutral on the leaderboard. The fifth at TPC Southwind is a long par four measuring 485 yards. It requires a good strong drive to avoid the bunker on the left and then an accurate approach into this green. Oh, well struck. This drive's heading for the fairway in my eyes. Coming off a string of four birdies. Opting for the hybrid, I think. Oh, well done. A chance to move to five under par. Tracking. Mark it down. That's birdie number five. And with that, he'll move to five under par. Well, it's time to head back down to the fairways. John, what's up, mate? Down here on the sixth hole, guys. This is Jim Furyk. Well, this would be a bonus. This is a very long putt. Just didn't drop. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. The strategy at the sixth here at TPC Southwind on this par four, measuring just under 450 yards from the tips, is to position your drive from the tee to give a clear shot into this green. That should find the cut stuff. Wow, this is some sort of play. Five birdies on the bounce. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. This looks to be heading to the green. Well, not a bad approach, that one up onto the green. A couple of putts from there, and that'll be a pretty good hole. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. Ah, that's frustrating. Well, this would be a good one to make. It's for par. In she goes. Let's head to the next. And now that finds him in first place.
The seventh at TPC South, and it's a strong par four, measuring 482 yards from the back tee. A big clump of trees on the left, and the one on the right is to be avoided off the tee. Also, a good angle to attack this green is from the left half of this fairway, with a huge greenside tree that also affects any poor approaches. Lovely effort, that. John, what's going on? Talk to us, Goose. I'm down here following Matt Kuchar. We're on the eighth hole. That's outstanding. Mark that down on the highlight reel. And back to the course with the live action. And this shot from about 150 yards out. Wind is blowing left to right. Going to try and hold it against the wind. And choosing the eight iron here. This one's going right at the pin here. A quality shot that trying to get to six under now with this putt it's got a chance mark it down that's six birdies today and that will take him to six under still in the lead now after that hole The eighth hole at TPC Southwind is a really nice short par three measuring just 164 yards. This green has been recently contoured, so accuracy or distance control off the tee is paramount. about dialed in that thing had eyes for the hole butting for birdie oh what a round this is seven birdies today and that will take him to seven under let's have a look at patrick cantlay Getting ready to play their third. Whew. You're kidding me. Did he hold that? A little punch shot here. Oh, yes. What a result. Fantastically played. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks right now. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. The finishing hole on the front nine here at TPC Southwind plays downhill towards a dog leg right. There's a big body of water, the short front left of this green, so make sure you've got enough club to reach the surface. Not a bad line, this one. Playing from around 150 yards here. Back into the wind. They need to flight this one down. Going with the eight iron here. Anywhere up on that dance floor would be nice.
Not sure if that's what they're intending to do. And missing it long with that approach, not a good leave. Oh, that's the hands of a surgeon. Lovely touch. You better believe it is great stuff to watch. And down it goes. Let's head to the next. Oh, this is a precarious position, if you don't mind me saying, Rich. They have the lead, but there's plenty chasing with just nine to play. Yeah, but I, I like the position. I like being out in front. It forces the other players to come catch you. I like their position. Run up in the canopy of the trees. Second shot here on the tenth hole. Opting for the five iron. Wow, what a shot. John, do you have any info down there? I'm down on the 11th as Jim Furyk sets up his next shot. This would be a great up and down. Go ahead and make it. Wow. That's the hands of a surgeon. Oh, here he comes into the top 10 with a bolt. Let's get back to it, shall we? Mm, good chance this one. Right on six feet. Their short game has been very impressive. They've kept this player inside the top 10 all day long because of it. And that's eight birdies today. And that will take him to eight under. He sits in first position. The par 3 11th at TPC Southwind measures just 162 yards. That looks can be deceiving here. While it looks pretty, it can bite you. Make sure you've got enough club here on approach. Ooh, this one should find the surface. Good shot, this. That's well played. Anything on the green from there was fine. And this one for back-to-back -back birdies. It's on a great line. Look at him just surging ahead at the top of the leaderboard. Gotta like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. Leading by four strokes after that one. The par 4 12th. There's only a short one measuring 406 yards from the tips. 
but you need to be very accurate off the tee. Avoid that huge water hazard to the right, and that'll give you the best angle into this green. Any drive that's pushed left will make it a difficult approach, and be wary. There's water over the back of this green, which you can't see. Well, this should find the short grass. John, give us a small update. Down here on the 13th hole, this is Matt Kuchik. And this next putt here is for a double bogey. That's outstanding. What a putt. Step aside, gents. This man's marching into the top five. Time for the second shot at the 12th. That'll work. That's fine. Ooh, a nine-foot chance here. Looking better. And that's for birdie. Well hold. Leading by five shots after that. Par 4 13th at TPC Southwind plays uphill and 472 yards. Dustin Johnson once hit a drive here, 375 yards, which left just a flick wedge in. It set up a victory. Have you got the power in the tank? That's what it's required to make a birdie. Looks like they put a good swing on that one. That should find the short stuff. Let's have a look at Patrick Cantlay. And John, what's this one looking like? Well, pretty shallow lie here in the sand. I don't think it'll be too hard getting out of here. Coming off a hat trick of birdies. That's great momentum. Game of the seven. How close was that to going in the hole? Great shot. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. And another one goes. And with it, an increase of his lead. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. at TPC Southwind is one of their signature holes. The par three that plays downhill considerably long, around 240 yards, is hit over a big body of water to the right. Fortune favours the brave here. If you need a birdie, go flag hunting. Otherwise, lay up to around 20 feet left. Looks like they've got the five wood. Hitting yet another green here in regulation. Dare I say, Luke, this player has been in fuego with his approach shots. Another green in regulation.
This one's looking good. Fair effort that. Good birdie. So no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole. Accuracy is required at the par 4 15th, just 395 yards off the tee. Players like to lay back to give them their right number into this green. And there's a little creek that meanders through the centre of the fairway here and up to the right side of the green. So make sure your approach is accurate. Really know how to golf your ball. Serious momentum of five straight birdies. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. That's a great shot here at the 15th. It sets up a look for birdie. John, give us an update. What's shaking? On the 16th hole now, and this is Jim Furyk getting ready to hit. Okay, let's get back to the action. 11 feet left to the hole. Oh, just missed. And they'll walk away with a par on this one. And after that effort, let's take a look at how it stands. A nice feeling it must be to have that sizable of a lead coming down the stretch. Our current leader is enjoying a seven-stroke advantage. Three holes remaining, folks. Hang on to your hats. This is going to be a wild and woolly finish. The 16th at TPC Southwind is the last genuine birdie hole on the course. It's a par 5 measuring just 530 yards, but there's a lot required on the tee shot that's played uphill to a ridge. If you can get it up over the rise, a good chance for reaching the green here in two to set up a birdie and even perhaps eagle. But be wary of this green. There's a big bunker short left, and if you find it, it's not an easy up and down. Well, maybe even a par can be hard. That looks to be a fairway finder to me. Luke, that did not end up where you said it was going to. It's in the rough. The final par five at TPC Southwind is a good one. Up the hill, Rich, and a chance to get there in two. Second shot back up the hill at 16. Bunkers on the front left and back right of this green could be pose some problems however this hole generally plays the easiest on the golf course go ahead take it on the flagstick with your seconds oh what a wonderful play leading with intent and I tell you, you just dream about days like today. Greens and regulation spot on all day. Awesome. Well, you're going to be hard to catch now if you keep making putts like that. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? Let's find out. 
The penultimate hole at TPC Southwind is a very strong par four, measuring 490 yards off the back tees. There is a little creek that runs through the centre of the fairway here, but that only catches the biggest of drives. There's two big trees either side that you want to position yourself in the middle of, so then you can hit a clean shot to the green. Two strong shots required to get onto the surface, and even once you're on the green, par isn't assured. This looks to be a fairway seeker to me. Let's have a look at this highlight. Matt Kuchar with a fantastic shot. Check out what they do on this approach. was that to go in and back to the course with the live action well to become the champion at TPC Southwind you need to hit some big shots down the stretch and there's none tougher than this approach into 17 the green sits just below the player flanked by bunkers both right and left the green is long and narrow and does generally move from right to left all in all one of the most difficult approaches on this golf course Looks to have chosen the seven iron. That's an absolute ripper. What a shot. Any time you can make these putts, they'll certainly add up at the end of the day. Right on eight feet. He just keeps putting a gap on the rest of the field. What a putt to hold. He's currently sitting in first place. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. Well, the finishing hole at TPC Southwind is an absolute beauty. There's been some heroic moments like hole-out eagles, and there's been triple bogeys that have cost championships. Your job is to get the ball safely into the fairway here. And if you're not a long driver, don't take on the corner. But if you can, it'll leave you just a short iron in, and a chance to seal the victory with a birdie. Well, you can see why he's leading. That was a shot of high caliber. Wow, was that a massive drive there. Holy cow. Going with the seven. Oh. And there you have it. The winner of the WGC FedEx St. Jude Invitational. What a win this one is. And a hard fought win indeed. The winds were blowing all week, but this player outlasted the rest. I gotta say, gutsy performance all around. Great win. Rich, mark that down as one of the outstanding wins we'll see this season. It's always impressive when you see a player outshine their fellow competitors because all of these players are really good, but this player made everybody in the field look very, very average. So good was their performance. Well, on behalf of myself, Luke Elby and Rich Beam, thanks for tuning in. 
Catch you tomorrow.